What one of the key things is for the institution, what, what their intent is, is so that the local conditions are going to very much affect their approach to this. It's very hard for us to talk about um, what, what a budget might be without understanding for an institution what resources they have, what work they're already engaged in, um, how freely available the data is from the different systems, that's the kind of technical area. Beyond that, what human processes, what, is there a personal tutoring system in place? Is there time allocated to staff to deliver that to students? Whatever resources are there, it, it's very hard to put a price or even an approach that, that fits everybody. What we'll often try and do is identify the more immediate next steps uh, with an institution and then sort of build from there with them to say, okay, so if your next step is this, what do you think would have to come after and perhaps come after that? So it's more of an idea of a, um, a set of things that need to be considered more so than timelines in which they need to be done. Um, it's very difficult to put timelines associated with things when, when, when depending on data quality, when, when things can be run through a model, when you'll have more information, um, depending on when a governance committee meets, maybe you know, dictate when a process can be changed. So timelines are much more difficult as is budget, but identifying steps or things that need to be done is, is a little bit more of the focus that we take. And that can be quite a challenge. There, there is uh, an institutional timeline that's fixed, uh, as, as Lindsay mentions, uh, a committee's meeting, uh, but even budget setting often has to be done at, at quite an unhelpful time of year to be able to deliver things. So having an idea of those stages, um, so for um, September next year, we want to be able to do this and then working back from that for what needs to be in place for that to happen. Risk management is a very important thing to consider when doing learning analytics. Um, agile methodology does allow for the quick addressing and absorption of, of risks. So if, if a in initiative has gone in a different direction than perhaps the institution is comfortable with, it's much easier to course correct than something that's been planned out for the last year. However, being able to do that needs to be governed. It needs to be part of the governance process. It's very easy for an institution to just justify any change as being, well, we'll just try it and if we fail, that's okay, try it and fail. There is that mentality with Agile, but it needs to be a controlled set of chances, a controlled failure, that there is a level of accountability, that there is an overall understanding of why certain paths have been taken, chances are being taken, why certain risks have, have arisen. It, it needs to be part of that overall governance structure in order for it to be effective. I think the, the governance piece as well, um, I use the term perpetual beta, which, which it just tries to capture that um, this, this thing is never finished, we're always adding to it. And I think that, that's particularly helpful with some of that confidence with, with staff that what you have isn't a finished product, there's more to come, we want to hear from you about what more you would like, and the, those pieces will come. So people see that the, the beta continually changes, continually develops, continually uh, supports that goal of supporting student retention and success. The project management structure or methodologies that are necessary in order to really be able to have effective learning analytics change, uh, any element of learning analytics, comes down to having senior leadership buy-in and having a strong governance structure. Um, if you don't have both of those things, it will fall apart, a absolutely. There's, there's no question about that. Um, so having that, that leadership buy-in and un understanding that things will change uh, on a regular basis and that they need to be able to perpetuate the message of change is okay, change is coming, it's all right that we're operating in a different manner in which we have before. It might be scary, it might be new, but it's okay. Perpetuating that message is really important and that's supported throughout different layers within the institution. In, in many ways, it's no different to any other organizational change process. Um, we believe that it, it, it isn't just about learning analytics, it needs to be embedded in, in a larger change program, um, student success, um, student retention, the, these are, are 
big issues for universities. Um, you know, it's, it's not just about learning analytics, it's about changing the culture, the organisation. Um, you know, it needs that level of uh, investment from senior management. Mm -hmm.